Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back to YouTube. I have literally been sick with the flu and it's literally been so fucking horrendous. I really forgot how bad the flu like affects you and like your whole immune system and like just everything about your life. It fucks it all up because you have no energy, your body is in literally fucking pain and everything hurts. And like when I have the fever, and I'm sleeping, I feel like, and Alex, my roommate, described this the best. She said that it feels like your, your body is so hot that your clothes are melting off your skin. It's the worst thing ever, and I sweat like all over my forehead. I just wake up and like sweat. So that's not cute. And it just like fucks up my life for like a few days, which is not cool. And I went to the doctor, and I got some motherfucking medicine, but the medicine I got was not like prescription, it was over the counter, and like, kind of barely made me feel better. So I'm kind of annoyed about that. But, so I was going to film a Q&A today, but not enough people asked me questions. So someone asked, you know, what is my relationship like with my parents? And I just think that's like really interesting to talk about because I've never really delved into how my parents view me and the things we talk about and kind of like how my transition has affected our relationship because it definitely has, you know, like all things. So basically, ever since I was younger, I've always been fucking girly. I've always been interested in girly things like the boy TV shows and then there's like the girly ones. I was always into the girly ones. When it came to like buying toys, I always went to the girl aisle and wanted to play with the Barbie dolls and stuff like that. So my parents, it really shouldn't be a shock to them that I'm trans or that I'm gay or anything like that because because it's like, I've been this way my whole life and it's been right in front of your fucking face. So like, how did you not know this was coming? You know what I mean? So basically, I came out to everyone twice. So that means I came out to my parents twice. First time being gay, second time being transgender. Obviously two completely different things, but I wouldn't even really say that my parents right now view me as a female. I think they view me as a male that just like cross dresses or something because they still say he pronouns and they still use my birth name. I went to Boston with my parents and my dad said shine for the first time which was like really interesting and like it actually felt really fucking good to be honest hearing that for the first time especially it being my dad like that was just kind of a special moment so like he will be respectful and and refer to me as that if i ask him to but if i don't like when i call my mom like if i called her right now she'd probably answer and be like what's up my shawnee like you know what i mean so she doesn't really she hasn't transitioned with me yet i think they're still stuck with the old me and like I'm not gonna force it like I'm not expecting everyone around me that's known me my whole entire life to just like transition you know with me like really quickly because I understand like you knew me as someone else for so long that it's hard for you to get over that I understand that that's difficult so that's why I am giving my family and anyone who's known me you know before I started transitioning that's why I'm giving them some extra time to get used to it and then start calling me by my name I prefer and the pronouns that I prefer like it's not really that big of a deal to me like it's not like life or death I just it would make my gender dysphoria decrease if everyone were to refer to me as the name I prefer but the pronouns I prefer but I think that's pretty self-explanatory so like my parents haven't really adjusted fully but I think they're coming around because they're a lot better than whenever I first started wearing makeup and stuff like my mom was very uncomfortable my mom weirdly enough has been way more uncomfortable with the whole trans and gay issues than my dad yet my mother always said that she had a gay best friend in high school that she would like you know sneak around and they would like smoke cigarettes behind the bleachers of the football games or something i, I never understood like why she was so weird about it with me when like you tell me that you used to have a gay best friend and stuff like that. I just, I don't know, it's really confusing to me how she is almost like so like phobic, yet I don't know, like you've had a long time to like really get used to trans people, LGBTQ people. But like she definitely like, this is another thing that's like kind of pisses me off and like weirds me out is that she thinks that, cause okay, when I was in high school, like I guess junior year, senior year, no, 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 probably like sophomore year, I started watching RuPaul's Drag Race, but I would sneak it. Like they would walk into my room, it would be on, and I would quickly change the channel so they wouldn't know what I was watching. But I think over time they figured it out, and then also I just talked about it because 
RuPaul's Drag Race is everything. It's iconic and it, it definitely shaped who I am, but my mother likes to say that I'm brainwashed by RuPaul's Drag Race and that is why I am the way I am. Bitch, I'm not a fucking drag queen and I never have wanted to be a drag queen. I thought about it when I before I realized I was trans, but I never ever wanted to be a drag queen. So my mother thinks that I want to be a drag queen, and when I started wearing makeup and working at Sephora, when I was just gay and Sean, she thought that it was because I was brainwashed by RuPaul's Drag Race and that I wanted to be a drag queen. And she never understood that it was a problem that was way deeper than just being influenced by a TV show. I've always been Sean. I've always been underneath all of this, I've always been the same person. I've always had the same soul. If you watch videos of me when I was little, which one day I'll have to like put some in here because they're really cute, like home videos. I was a very different kid. Like I was very out there from the start, like from the start, there was a stark difference between me and my brother. My brother was always into sports. He was always like the, the more masculine, you know, um, conservative, like he's like, was perfect basically to my parents you know he was straight you know straight laced and all that and I was always the weird one that was in choir that was loud and goofy and flamboyant as shit so there's always been a stark difference between me and my brother but I don't understand how if I've always been this way like I would watch these videos of myself as at a younger age and like I was so different like I was so gay like, I was so trans, I was so all of that way back when. So why are my parents and people who have known me since then so shocked about it? You know what I mean? It's just like kind of kind of confusing. But I definitely give people like the benefit of the doubt and I'm patient about it because like I don't want to be rude about it and just like, I don't know, like I want to give people the benefit of the doubt. And if you need time to get used to the way that I am now, fine. But just don't judge me for being this way, you know what I mean? Just like allow me to be myself and not judge me for that, you know what I mean? But I think that's like, again, pretty self-explanatory. Like, if you see, uh, this is another thing I don't get with society. If you see me like this, dressed in makeup and, you know, like wearing girl clothes, you know, they're like open back, like I have long nails, like I wear heels, like I'm, you know, I'm, how are you confused about my gender? Like, why would you, Why? how could you ever misgender me when I look like this? Like, am I portraying a man? Because I don't think I am. Like, and then also I have boobs. Like, bitch, how the fuck can you, like, a man have boobs? Like, I don't understand. I just realized that I'm getting pretty heated about this. But, like, I'm serious. Like, I, these are things I really don't fucking understand about society and people and my parents. It's just, like, get with the fucking program. Like, it's not that fucking weird. Like, it's not that weird. I don't understand why people are so confused about it. I mean, I get why people are confused about it. Yes, being trans is different. The idea that someone was born a gender and they want to change that. Yes, that's a little bit strange, but it's also 2018 now. Hello. So like you've had a pretty long time to get used to this. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like it definitely helps when someone has someone in their family or someone that they've known their whole life. It's easier for that kind of person to get used to this thing and like really understand what it's about. I just want to educate everyone so that they're not so confused about it. And like literally if you ever have any questions about gender or anything like that, I'd be happy to address it in a video because I really just want us to all be on the same fucking page. It's 2018. Trans people exist. They're valid. And most of us trans people have been this way our whole lives. We were just too afraid to admit it and live out loud. What do you guys think of transgender? Is it taboo to you? Do you not get it? Are you trying to understand it? Or are you just being ignorant and you don't want to take the time to research this shit and figure out that it actually is a real fucking thing? Gender dysphoria exists anyway. So yeah, my, my, my relationship with my parents is good. They love me. They've always like supported me as a person. They just have been confused about the trans thing and it's just something that we are gonna have to be continuing to work on over time, which I'm okay with because it definitely is a lot better than it once was. But you know, living a thousand miles away from them, it is a little bit harder to speed that process up because I'm, I guarantee that if I was living authentically at home, which by the way, basically I was not living 
a trans life when I was living at home in Texas. So one of the things that I was most excited about moving to California was that I was finally gonna be able to live my life like truly. So I know for a fact that like if I were to move back to Texas and I was living like this every day that my parents would get used to it quicker and they would understand me quicker, but it's not happening. So whenever I talk to them, you know, it's just like that's the little taste of me that they get over the phone or FaceTime or whatever. So it's a work in progress, but I know that one day, and I believe, I really believe that one day my parents and my brother and everyone who has ever been confused about me and my gender, that they are going to address me as Shine and use she, her, hers pronouns. I know that's gonna fucking happen because if it doesn't, there's gonna be hell to pay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have been wanting and trying to make a makeup tutorial video, but for whatever reason, I just can't make it work. Like I just, it gets awkward. I take longer than I should and it just doesn't end up looking right. So I'm gonna try to master that one day with the help of my roommate Alex, but until then, you're just gonna be getting like opinionated videos where I talk about my life and hot topics. But yeah, you guys should definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter at shinelove, S-E-A-I-N-E-L-O-V-E, -E, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video if you've ever had a problem with your parents understanding you because God knows I have. And and yeah, I think that's about it. I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Remember to stay true and be you. And I love you. Goodbye.